Greetings, Leo. I hope you guys are doing lovely. This is going to be your weekly reading from the 22nd through the 28th. Let's jump straight into it. All right, it's going to be a love reading, guys. What's going on in the lives of Leo? We're going to just go with the flow and see where this goes. Leo. Well, that's quite a turbulent card to begin with, okay? The Seven of Swords is often a card of deceit. And with the bottom being the Three of Swords, this speaks of something quite tumultuous. I hope it's not a third-party situation. All right, nevertheless, let's keep looking further. Leo, you are most certainly being tested at this time when it comes to your love life. All right, speak to me more about what Leo is undergoing emotionally at this time when it comes to romantic life. Leo, I feel that like you've turned cold, all right? I feel that, I feel this energy of just, you kind of just shutting your feelings out and you're trying to be logical. Someone here might have, you could have experienced a situation in your love life that has compelled you to be a bit cold, a bit, a bit frictional, all right? I don't want to say mean, but something along those lines, kind of like, you, right now you're just not this warm individual, okay, when it comes to your love life. I, I look, I just got the tower. Got the tower. Something ensued here that was quite destructive. Destructive towards peace. Destructive towards... Exactly that. Destructive towards peace. It, it was something that you could have... You, it's something that you could have probably provoked. Alright? Or actuated. But for a good reason, ladies and gentlemen. I really hope that you're not going against your own will. Okay? Or going against your own desire, rather. And what I mean by that is you're actually desiring to cultivate harmony within a relationship and doing the exact opposite. And people do that all the time. Why? Because their pride gets hurt. Because it, for really idiotic reasons, you know, they just have a hard time being the bigger individual and being humble and seeking to establish peace. They rather say, oh yeah, you want to act like that? Fuck that then. You know what I mean? And they bring about destruction. I hope that's not the case here. Now, let's look into it. What actually happened here? What actually happened? What actually happened? Fuck. All right, well, all right, well, look, I think some of you guys are dealing with a third party situation. All right, some of you guys are dealing with a third party situation. Someone here was being juggled, ladies and gentlemen. Someone here was being juggled. Someone here was an option, flat out, Liam. Someone here was an option, and disregard or despite of whatever position you were in, I feel that you just brought an ending to the situation. All right. So, guys, if you were the one juggling individuals, you could have brought an ending to a specific relationship to go towards someone else. Or you found something out and you cut that third party situation out of your life. All right. Now, tell me more about Leo's state around this time state of confusion, a state of respite. So you're isolated, ladies and gentlemen, and, and I feel that you are just being swarmed with different, different tumultuous thoughts and feelings, and it's just a, a frictional situation for you at this time, Leo. All right, now, whomever it is that you're dealing with, now let's look into their energy. What's going on with this individual? And how are they relating to Leo? Well, they're being hopeful, ladies and gentlemen. They want healing to ensue. They're being hopeful about what ex exactly? What are they being hopeful about? <sighs> Resurrecting a situation, mending a defeat that has ensued. All right. Yeah, they're wanting to move towards peace, ladies and gentlemen. Six of Swords. They're wanting to move towards peace in a situation. All right, tell me more about what they desire with Leo. Tell me more about what they desire. Well, there you go. It seems that the relationship has been in a stagnant position in regards to what has ensued. All right, so this disastrous and this tumultuousness is something that didn't just happen. All right, it's something that's already been existing. You've been dealing with this for some time and this individual simply wants to move on from that state and move towards an actual exchange of emotions. And the reason being is because they do have feelings for you, Leo. All right. <clears throat> now, mind you, it doesn't have to be a third party situation where 
there was a, another person involved. This could be someone or something else. Okay, something else here seems to be the catalyst to destruction between you and someone. All right. Now, where is Leo planning on taking this? Where is Leo actually taking this? Where is Leo taking this? Where is Leo taking this? Where is Leo taking this? Oh, okay, Leo. Look, I don't see you necessarily cutting the situation out. And I'm sure those that I'm connecting with, many of you will be like, you know what? I'm done with that individual, this and that. Well, no, you're not. You're not. I'm not seeing you done at all. I'm seeing you in the dark. I'm seeing you shrouded with obscurity when it comes to the situation. And you know what? You So long you continue to think about it and try to figure it out and scrutinize it on a logical sense, ladies and gentlemen, you're only going to be putting yourself in a dark and a darker place. When I, when I In regards to the clarity that you'll have. So with this moon energy being here, basically what I'm compelled to tell you is to depend, to rely on your intuition when it comes to the situation. This is a moon situation where it's dark and your worldly faculties are useless. Okay? Kind of like your own, your own logical um, faculty. I feel that you're going to be entertaining all these thoughts that are just not reality and or they could they could be reality they could have a tad of reality but you're going to have your own inclinations and your own influences you're going to be creating a fucking cocktail of confusion for yourself all right so it may behoove you to take a step back calm yourself down reach a state of groundedness and and really feel what it is or feel the answer that you're seeking for <clears throat> What clarity is Leo actually seeking? What is it that they're actually seeking in the midst of all this confusion? Fuck. I mean, I just see you clouded in a lot of emotional turmoil, Leo. All right, I see you clouded in a lot of emotional turmoil. Uh, and the reason being is because this individual was probably a significant relationship to you. This was someone that was significant to you. And when shit hits the fan in significant relationships, they're not easy to move on from. Absolutely normal. Absolutely understandable. All right. Now, what is the advice for Leo? What is the advice for Leo in this situation? <clears throat> All right. Interesting. Leo, I don't know. I feel like many of you guys are going to be against what I'm saying here. But I'm just reading. Okay. I'm not imposing my own my own inclinations in your reading, right? I'm basically just reading and telling you what I'm seeing. And what I'm seeing here, your advice is to actually give this a chance, is to actually give this a chance by you putting effort into it, by you putting your, your effort into it, right? Obviously it takes two to tangle, ladies and gentlemen, but it could be one of those situations where like, you know what, I already done all the effort and this and that, maybe, Maybe it's on you to just open the door and say, all right, what do you have to say? What, sit down with the individual, have a conversation. What is it that you want to offer? What do you have to offer? What is it that you want? You know what I mean? And maybe just by opening up the door, opening up the opportunity to communicate profound feelings, you're going to gain the clarity that you want, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to gain the clarity that you want, but so long that you shut your feelings out, it seems that that is completely disaligned with what you actually want. All right. That's why I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen, as hard as it is, this is not an easy situation to deal with. But it is what it is. All right. It is what it is. And you're, you're being called to step up to the plate if this is what you want. All right. Otherwise, you're going to be sabotaging something that you want. All right. Due to possible completely skewed and inaccurate reasons. Okay, Leo. <clears throat> this is a this is a difficult time for Leo. For those that I'm connecting with, ladies and gentlemen, take this as it resonates. All right, this is not going to be for everybody. However, Jesus, this is hard, right? This is def definitely hard. I mean, it just seems that disaster struck, and and it's kind of hard to say. It's kind of hard to open your heart up in in such a situation. Truly. But this is love, ladies and gentlemen. It's not fucking rainbows and sunshines. All right? Love is... A, uh, romantic relationships, rather, are learning experiences. There's much to learn. There's much to gain from this situation. 
All right? It's not about, is he the right individual? Will I end up with him forever? It's not about that. It's not about that. It's about conquering your own selves, conquering your own ego. All right? Cultivating humility, getting out of your comfort zone, being vulnerable, on and on and on. And lessons that are painful, lessons that fucking suck, lessons that make you cry. But it is what it is. All right, that's what builds a resilient and wise individual. Okay, so again, scratch everything that I said aside from trusting your own intuition. Quiet yourself. Quit entertaining thoughts. What do you feel? Do you, and don't think about it too hard. Just say, just meditate and quiet yourself and say, what is it that I truly want to do in this situation? And you'll get the answer. Talk to him. Talk to her. Fuck, all right. That's my subconscious. That's, that's my, my, my deep self speaking to me. Aside from, oh, he did this and this and that. Is it worth it? This is it. Fuck all that. What does your inner self say? All right? For some of you, it's going to be different. All right? Nevertheless. I'm going to take this to the extended, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to look deeper into this individual that seems to be, seems to be desiring to mend with you. All right, someone here is wishing upon a star to fucking move on from tumultuousness, to move on from defeat, and move on towards peace, Leo. I'm going to look deeply into this individual. All right. The link to the extended will be in the description. May peace be with you. I'll see you guys.